My topic is inbound marketing and detail expelling. Let's go to the topic and let's go to the start. Inbound marketing is a strategy that focuses on attracting and engaging potential customers through relevant and valuable content and interactions. The goal of inbound marketing is to establish trust and credibility with potential customers, and to ultimately convert them into paying customers. The inbound marketing methodology typically includes the following steps. Attract, use SEO, social media, and other tactics to attract visitors to your website. Convert, use forms, calls to action, and landing pages to convert website visitors into leads. Close, use lead nurturing and other tactics to convert leads into paying customers. Delight, use email, chat, and other methods to provide excellent customer service and support. Inbound marketing differs from traditional outbound marketing, which focuses on interrupting potential customers with advertising, cold calling, and other forms of outreach. Instead, inbound marketing relies on creating and sharing valuable content, such as blog posts, videos, and ebooks, that are designed to help potential customers solve their problems and find answers to their questions. It is a long-term approach, it aims to attract visitors to a website naturally through content and making use of search engine optimization. Once visitors arrive on the site, they are converted into leads through the use of calls to action and lead magnets. Finally, leads are nurtured through the funnel and converted into customers. It is also important to note that inbound marketing is not a one-time activity. It is an ongoing process that requires consistent effort and iteration in order to be successful. Inbound marketing is a strategy that focuses on attracting and engaging potential customers through relevant and valuable content and interactions. The goal of inbound marketing is to establish trust and credibility with potential customers, and to ultimately convert them into paying customers. The inbound marketing methodology typically includes the following steps. Attract Use SEO, social media, and other tactics to attract visitors to your website. This can be done by creating valuable and relevant content, such as blog posts, ebooks, and infographics, that addresses the needs and pain points of your target audience. Convert Once visitors arrive on your website, you want to convert them into leads by capturing their contact information. This can be done by using forms, calls to action, CTAs, and landing pages. Lead magnets, such as ebooks or webinars, can be used to entice visitors to give you their contact information. Close, once you have a lead, the next step is to close the sale and convert them into a paying customer. This can be done through lead nurturing, which involves sending targeted and relevant follow up emails and messages. You can also use marketing automation to automatically send leads through a series of emails that help to educate them about your products or services. Delight The final step of inbound marketing is to delight your customers by providing excellent customer service and support. This can be done through email, chat, phone, or other forms of customer support. Delighting your customers will help to create loyal customers who will promote your business through word of mouth marketing. Inbound marketing is a long-term, holistic approach to marketing that focuses on building relationships with potential customers. It is different from traditional outbound marketing, which focuses on interrupting potential customers with advertising and cold calling. Inbound marketing focuses on attracting potential customers naturally through content and making use of search engine optimization (SEO). Once visitors arrive on the site, they are converted into leads and then into customers by providing valuable information that addresses their pain points and needs. Inbound marketing is a strategy that focuses on creating valuable content and experiences tailored to the needs and interests of your target audience, in order to attract and engage potential customers. Instead of interrupting people with advertisements, inbound marketing uses search engine optimization (SEO), social media, and other tactics to draw people to your website. The inbound marketing methodology typically includes the following steps. Attract. The first step in inbound marketing is to attract visitors to your website. This is done by creating valuable and relevant content that addresses the needs and pain points of your target audience. 
This content can include blog posts, ebooks, infographics, videos, and more. SEO and social media are used to promote this content and attract visitors to your website. Convert Once visitors are on your website, you want to convert them into leads by capturing their contact information. This is done by using forms, calls to action, CTAs, and landing pages. Lead magnets such as ebooks, webinars, or free trials can be used to entice visitors to give you their contact information. Close with leads captured, the next step is to close the sale and convert them into customers. Lead nurturing, which is the process of sending targeted and relevant follow-up emails and messages, is used to guide leads through the sales process. Marketing automation can be used to streamline this process and ensure that leads receive the right information at the right time. Delight Finally, it's important to delight your customers by providing excellent customer service and support. This helps to create loyal customers who will promote your business through word-of-mouth marketing. Inbound marketing has become an essential strategy for businesses of all sizes looking to attract and retain customers in today's digital landscape. The fundamental goal of inbound marketing is to empower customers by giving them the information they need to make informed decisions, rather than trying to persuade them with aggressive sales tactics. Inbound marketing is a strategy that focuses on attracting and engaging potential customers through relevant and valuable content and interactions. It is based on the idea that people are more likely to engage with and make a purchase from a business that they perceive as providing valuable information and help in solving their problem, instead of being constantly interrupted with advertisements. Inbound marketing typically includes the following stages. Attract, use SEO, social media and other tactics to attract visitors to your website. This is done by creating valuable and relevant content that addresses the needs and pain points of your target audience, such as blog posts, videos, and ebooks. Convert, use forms, calls to action, and landing pages to convert website visitors into leads. Lead magnets such as ebooks or webinars can be used as an incentive for visitors to give their contact information. Close. Use lead nurturing and other tactics to convert leads into paying customers. Lead nurturing involves sending targeted, relevant follow-up messages to guide leads through the sales process. Delight. Use email, chat, and other methods to provide excellent customer service and support. Delighting customers can create loyal customers who will promote the business through word-of-mouth marketing. Inbound marketing is a long-term approach that requires ongoing effort and iteration. It can be a more effective way of reaching customers than traditional outbound marketing, which relies on interrupting potential customers with advertising, cold calling, and other forms of outreach. The inbound marketing process focuses on establishing trust and credibility with potential customers by providing them with valuable information that helps them make informed decisions. Inbound marketing is a strategy that focuses on attracting and engaging potential customers through relevant and valuable content and interactions, in contrast to traditional outbound marketing which relies on interrupting potential customers with advertising and other forms of outreach. The goal of inbound marketing is to establish trust and credibility with potential customers, and to ultimately convert them into paying customers. The inbound marketing process includes several steps. Attracting visitors to your website, this can be done by creating valuable and relevant content, such as blog posts, ebooks, infographics, webinars that address the needs and pain points of your target audience. SEO, social media, and other tactics are used to promote this content and attract visitors to your website. Converting visitors into leads, once visitors are on your website. You want to convert them into leads by capturing their contact information. This can be done by using forms, calls to action, and lead magnets such as ebooks, webinars, or free trials. Closing leads into customers, this step involves lead nurturing, which is the process of sending targeted and relevant follow up emails and messages to guide leads through the sales process. Marketing automation can be used to streamline this process and ensure that leads receive the right information at the right time. Delighting customers, 
This final step is about providing excellent customer service and support to create loyal customers who will promote your business through word of mouth marketing. Inbound marketing is a holistic approach that focuses on creating a long term relationship with potential customers by providing valuable and relevant information throughout their journey, helping them make informed decisions. It is an ongoing process that requires consistent effort and iteration to be successful. Inbound marketing is a strategy that focuses on attracting, engaging and delighting potential customers through relevant and valuable content and interactions. In contrast to outbound marketing, which relies on interrupting potential customers with advertising and other forms of outreach, Inbound marketing focuses on earning attention through creating valuable and useful content that addresses the needs and pain points of your target audience. The inbound marketing process can be broken down into several stages. Attract, by creating and promoting valuable and relevant content, such as blog posts, ebooks, infographics, webinars and more, you can attract potential customers to your website. SEO, social media and other tactics can be used to increase visibility and drive traffic to your site. Convert Once visitors are on your website, you want to convert them into leads by capturing their contact information. This can be done through the use of forms, calls to action, and lead magnets such as ebooks, webinars, or free trials. Close Lead nurturing, which involves sending targeted and relevant follow-up emails and messages can be used to convert leads into paying customers. Marketing automation tools can be used to streamline this process. Delight, provide excellent customer service and support to create loyal customers who will promote your business through word of mouth marketing. This step is also very important to retain customers, improve customer satisfaction and increase lifetime value. Inbound marketing is a long term, holistic approach that focuses on building relationships with potential customers by providing valuable and relevant information throughout their journey, helping them make informed decisions. It requires a consistent effort and iteration to be successful. Closing leads into customers, this step involves lead nurturing, which is the process of sending targeted and relevant follow-up emails and messages to guide leads through the sales process. Marketing automation can be used to streamline this process and ensure that leads receive the right information at the right time. Inbound marketing is a business methodology that attracts customers by creating valuable content and experiences tailored to them. While outbound marketing interrupts your audience with content they don't always want, inbound marketing forms connections they are looking for and solves problems they already have. The inbound methodology is the method of growing your organization by building meaningful, lasting relationships with consumers, prospects, and customers. It's about valuing and empowering these people to reach their goals at any stage in their journey with you. Why? Because when your customers succeed, you succeed. Inbound marketing is the process of helping potential customers find your company. This frequently happens before the customer is ready to purchase. But making contact early can turn into brand preference and, ultimately, leads and revenue. The technique uses many forms of poll marketing to create brand awareness and attract new business. These include Content marketing Blogs Events Search engine optimization SEO Social media Whereas outbound marketing seeks out customers, inbound marketing focuses on visibility so potential buyers come to you. Instead of renting attention, companies focus on new methods geared towards building awareness, developing relationships, generating leads. These methods make you attractive to customers because they don't make people feel like they're being sold to. The content provided by inbound marketing is educational, entertaining, and maybe more welcomed by consumers. When done correctly, Inbound marketing can return dramatically better results than traditional marketing. That's because these classic methods disrupt prospects, rather than inbound methods, that give people an open invitation to engage if they want. When consumers find your company this way, it has a stronger influence on their future marketing decisions and their feelings toward your business in general. The best part? Inbound marketing consists of entirely organic leads, 
so it relies on brains rather than budget. Inbound marketing has many key benefits. These include its ability to the empowered buyer has all the information they need to make a buying decision at their fingertips anytime, any place. Detail specs, pricing, and product-slash-service reviews are right in their pocket, not to mention social media's impact on information sharing. To be successful in this evolving landscape, visibility through inbound marketing is key. Inbound marketing is so powerful because you have the power to give the searcher slash consumer exactly what answers they are looking for at the precise point that they need it. That builds trust, reputation, and authority in whatever niche you are practicing this form of marketing in. I need to increase my brand awareness. Up to 93% of buying cycles start with an online search. If your company appears at the top of search results, or is active on a searcher's social network, you can organically increase your brand awareness. To do that, ensure you have the right content and messaging in place in order to maximize performance on search engines. This will help ensure your company is visible when potential customers are searching for products and services you offer. I want to improve my brand preference. By educating, entertaining and interacting with potential customers before they consider making a purchase, you build trust and increase the likelihood they will choose you when they are ready to buy. Never underestimate the impact of becoming a familiar face. To do this, create the type of content that you know your customer base will be interested in and push this out to the places you know they will see it. I need to generate more leads but have less to invest. Inbound marketing is a long-term investment that builds on itself over time. Your results will multiply many times over as you become more adept at creating and curating content that naturally attracts organic leads. If you have a small budget that needs to stretch far to achieve your marketing campaign goals, careful planning is needed to ensure you spend your money wisely, and in the right areas. I'm not sure I have the staff or budget to do inbound marketing. Like many things, the more you put into inbound efforts, the more you'll get out of it. But, if you have a good strategy in place that outlines key themes, content, and distribution, you can make sure to avoid wasted efforts. It's about working smart with the resources you have. Work out exactly what capacity your staff have to contribute to your campaign and select the inbound marketing strategies to run with from there. How to plan, implement, and optimize your inbound marketing program. Creating killer content is about brains and commitment rather than budget. You can't throw money at content and make it effective. You have to put your head and heart into it. Get started in five simple steps. Step 1. Define your business goals and buyer personas. Identify your target audience and learn all you can about them. You can't write content to inform your customers until you know your audience. Step 2. Provide content at every stage. Preemptively answer the questions your customers are likely to have at each stage of their buying journey. Determine your unique, compelling story. Transformational inbound leverages valuable content to attract and retain customers throughout their entire life cycle, not just before they are a customer, but after as well. Step 3. Choose your delivery platforms. The more valuable the content you create for your audience, the more likely you are to win them as customers. Determine the best way to reach them, whether it's through Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, your blog, or elsewhere. Step 4. Create and execute your content calendar. Create a schedule that will consistently turn out fresh and relevant content to continue to engage your audience. By keeping a constant stream of content that addresses your customers' questions, issues, and pain points, you'll maintain relevance and build your brand as a trusted thought leader. Step 5. Analyze results and optimize your inbound marketing program. Whether you decide to analyze SEO rankings, inbound links, or the number of articles published, these resources will provide valuable insight into how your campaigns are performing. Set aside time for weekly analysis to gauge the effectiveness of your inbound marketing efforts and areas for improvement. How to Create a Content Marketing Strategy Inbound Marketing Strategies Explained When it comes to your inbound marketing strategy, there are different options to consider. 
These generally tie into the inbound methodology discussed previously. Attract. Engage. Delight. But which option is right for you? Attract. All about content. In digital marketing, content is everything. This strategy is all about using content smartly to develop relationships with customers and prospects. Crucially, the content must be user-centered, it must address people's needs, problems and wants. Create a content plan based on SEO keyword research and ensure the content you create is optimized for search, with correct metadata, hashtags, and people also ask questions. Mix up different formats, such as informational articles that answer questions relevant to your brand, such as how to guides and explainers, with benefit-led product and category pages. Urate content published on your blog and use across social channels, email marketing and more. Follow a publishing schedule for uploading new content, engaging, selling the solutions. Conversations are at the heart of engaging inbound strategies. Here, you foster relationships with potential customers by building relationships through giving them your attention. Calls coming into your business are a huge focus. Inbound sales execs and customer service agents are given more freedom to build relationships with prospects and manage these leads by getting to know them and understanding their issues. Crucially, these execs avoid any type of hard sell. Instead, they focus on empathizing with the potential customer's problems while looking for opportunities to suggest potential solutions rather than pushing products onto them. Delighting, post-purchase satisfaction. Customer satisfaction, long after they have completed their purchase, is the focus of delighting strategies. It's all about continuing to build a relationship with a customer post-purchase and ensuring they can find the help they need. The aim, naturally, is to convert them into brand advocates. Develop a post-purchase customer journey which serves relevant content at key stages. For example, a tablet. In the days after, an unboxing video. Two weeks after, apps to download, three weeks after, seasonal focused content to get more from it. Gain insights from post-purchase surveys, offer responsive replies to social media queries, and ask for opinions on the types of content people would like to receive. Inspire future purchases with discount codes and other exclusive content. Learn more about how to get inbound marketing working for you in our Inbound Marketing Success Kit. Frequently asked questions about inbound marketing. What are examples of inbound marketing? There are many examples of inbound marketing. You may prefer a content focused approach, which publishes timely and relevant editorial and video in line with key customer interests. Alternatively, you may opt for a lead nurturing approach, which is focused on building relationship through conversations. Finally, you could prioritize building relationships with customers, after they have purchased. What is an inbound marketing definition? Inbound marketing is all about making connections with potential customers, by creating content and experiences that answer their problems and questions, all while enhancing their experiences as a customer. Strategic techniques such as user personas, SEO optimization and lead nurturing are central. How do you do inbound marketing? There are different techniques for inbound marketing. One of the first things to consider is understanding your audience and what they want from you as a brand. Once you've established this through data and research, you can work out how to engage and build relationships with them through inbound marketing. This could be launching a blog, creating an email strategy or speaking to your customers via social. Inbound marketing is the process of helping potential customers find your company. This frequently happens before the customer is ready to purchase. But making contact early can turn into brand preference and, ultimately, leads and revenue. The technique uses many forms of poll marketing to create brand awareness and attract new business. These include Content marketing Blogs Events Search engine optimization SEO Social media Whereas outbound marketing seeks out customers Inbound marketing focuses on visibility, so potential buyers come to you. Instead of renting attention, companies focus on new methods geared towards building awareness, developing relationships, 
generating leads. These methods make you attractive to customers because they don't make people feel like they're being sold to. The content provided by inbound marketing is educational, entertaining, and may be more welcomed by consumers. When done correctly, inbound marketing can return dramatically better results than traditional marketing. That's because these classic methods disrupt prospects, rather than inbound methods, that give people an open invitation to engage if they want. When consumers find your company this way, it has a stronger influence on their future marketing decisions and their feelings toward your business in general. The best part? Inbound marketing consists of entirely organic leads, so it relies on brains rather than budget. Inbound marketing has many key benefits. These include its ability to put customers in the driver's seat, connecting you with people who are genuinely interested in what you have to say. Work wonders for social media shares, brand awareness, and search engine optimization efforts. Let customers engage with your brand at any time, so you can generate qualified leads for much less money than traditional marketing. As the creation of data continues to increase, according to IBM, we create 2.5 quintillion bytes of data daily. Information abundance and attention scarcity will only continue to climb. The empowered buyer has all the information they need to make a buying decision at their fingertips anytime, any place. Detail specs, pricing, and product slash service reviews are right in their pocket, not to mention social media's impact on information sharing. To be successful in this evolving landscape, visibility through inbound marketing is key. Inbound marketing is so powerful because you have the power to give the searcher slash consumer exactly what answers they are looking for at the precise point that they need it. That builds trust, reputation, and authority in whatever niche you are practicing this form of marketing in. Inbound marketing is a method of growing your business by building lasting relationships with consumers, prospects, and clients by pulling them to your brand via SEO content marketing, social media, video marketing, and more. It is often divided into four stages, attract, convert, close, and delight. The biggest reason why inbound marketing strategies are effective is pull power. Instead of advertising to the customer, as traditional outbound marketing does, inbound marketing focuses on creating reasons for the customer to come to you. You can do this by publishing helpful content, personalizing your social media pages and website copy, and trying out other techniques discussed below. Let's talk about what inbound marketing is, the most effective inbound marketing strategies, and how you can use these to grow your business or startup. Inbound marketing is a marketing strategy that attracts customers and clients to you. One of the most popular ways of attracting and retaining visits is through valuable content. Marketers who focus on providing high-quality content consistently may notice growth in repeat visits and user engagement. For example, if I work in graphic design and want to attract people who need assistance in that field, I'd focus on creating content relevant to them. That could include design how-tos, YouTube videos about the best design practices, or a niche subject newsletter. This will establish me as a subject matter expert while attracting customers looking for design advice. In a nutshell, the essential idea of inbound marketing is to provide value first and convert customers later. This can work better than outbound marketing, as customers tend to prefer companies that provide value throughout their interactions rather than only during the buying process. In order to make inbound marketing work effectively, you have to focus on a few key stages. Inbound marketing reduces the need for you to go out and seek new users. When customers come to you organically, you no longer have to spend a lot of time and money chasing potential buyers. This strategy can also increase customer trust. More than 80% of customers conduct online research before deciding what to buy. If you present your company as an authoritative source in your industry, users may be more likely to pick you. Looking at how other businesses use inbound marketing strategies can help you create your own techniques. Here are some examples for you to consider. Chewy. Chewy's homepage shows up as one of the top results if you type cat food or bird food in the Google search bar. If you studied their website copy, 
you'll notice how their team has optimized their content to reach more users through SEO. Each item has clear product descriptions with tons of helpful information so users can find everything they need. They also use keywords strategically to rank higher and drive organic traffic. Indie Indie, a freelancing platform with resources for independent contractors, also uses effective inbound marketing strategies. Its homepage is full of relevant keywords, and each product description is detailed and SEO friendly. They expand upon all this in their robust library of blogs and freelancing guides. These keyword-rich posts may help drive organic traffic and reduce the pressure to spend money and time on outbound marketing. Inbound and outbound marketing techniques differ in how they approach the customer. They also produce different results. Outbound marketing requires proactively reaching out to potential customers to gauge their interest in your products. For example, you may launch social media sale campaigns, engage in door-to-door -door sales, or cold call people. Inbound marketing, on the other hand, focuses on bringing the customer to you. Like we discussed earlier, this can include creating content that resonates with your desired audience. Once brand awareness and long-term trust are established, people may be more likely to buy from you. Inbound marketing focuses on high-quality content, generates brand awareness for building long-term relationships, may take less time, saves money spent on marketing costs, outbound marketing, focuses on sales campaigns, more focused on converting, new users, may take more time requires money for sales, campaigns. It may be easy to confuse inbound marketing with content marketing, as they both deal with creating specific, helpful, and relevant content. However, they're slightly different. Content marketing is a specific strategy focused on creating helpful content with user interest in mind. Some content options are informative blog posts, well-researched articles, and Q&As. Inbound marketing includes content marketing techniques like incentivized sign-up forms, social media marketing techniques, and more. For example, if you write a blog post about the best strategies for social media marketing to appeal to marketing managers, that's content marketing. On the other hand, if, along with good content, you use smart pop-ups, include effective CTAs, and embed an incentivized newsletter sign-up form. Now that you know what is inbound marketing and how it works, let's dive into the best strategies for inbound marketing for startups. Use Facebook to create a target persona. The first and most critical part of creating compelling content is understanding what your target customers want to learn. You need to have an in-depth knowledge of your market so you can react quickly. Here's how you learn more about who your audience is by reviewing your Facebook page insights. First, go to your Facebook page. At the top, you'll see a button labeled Insights. From there, you're going to want to look at the Your Fans column. Check to see where the percentages lie to understand what demographics apply to your business. This can give you a general feel for who is interested in your startup and start forming the basis of your target persona. But that's not all we need. Next, we will find out what interests these people and how you can write content that appeals to what they care about. Survey your current customers and leads. The easiest way to get to know your target market is through a survey. This doesn't have to be complicated. If you already have an email list, you can send them a simple form through SurveyMonkey. To make this work, you only need to ask one question, what is your biggest struggle? Your goal is to understand the problems they're facing so you can create compelling content that targets their deepest interests. Conduct in-depth interviews to inform your inbound marketing efforts. Once you have the general feel of your target market, it's a good idea to start seeking out individuals you can contact for more in-depth information. Recommend looking for a few clients or customers you've already acquired. Ask them if they'd be okay with a 10-minute phone call or a video chat about their current struggles. Mention you law for them advice if you can. Usually, customers are excited about this. It's like a free consultation for them. Once you're on the call, try to find out exactly what their biggest struggles are. 
Ask them to describe those struggles in the clearest language possible. Get to exactly what frustrates them and what solutions they tried before but didn't work. You'll use this data to create content. Create and share compelling content. The quality of the content you create is the most important feature of your inbound marketing strategy. If you create generic, self-serving articles and videos, you'll never see success. No matter how hard you promote this content or how you designed it to rank well in search engines, you're going to struggle to find new clients and customers. The best-in-class content marketers work tirelessly to adapt their content to the target audiences they want to attract, and where they are in the customer journey. Writing enticing headline. Understanding the customer journey and their needs is critical to making great content, but it's not the only strategy you'll need to draw in new customers and leads. The most important piece of the work you create is the headline. This is what will drive the most clicks and draw in new traffic. You should spend lots of time crafting a headline that appeals to your most targeted customers. But if you have a list of mistakes or talk about the worst strategies that could hurt your customer, this can be an effective way to drive traffic. According to Demand Metric, companies with blogs generate 67% more leads per month than those who don't. If you're going to produce this content, you need to make sure it works to its best ability. Make your content more visual. Humans love visual content. For your content to appeal to your ideal readers, make sure there's more to it than just large blocks of text. Including lots of images, charts, and graphs is a technique I use to make my content more appealing, and I'm not alone. 90% of bloggers include images in their posts, and those who add multiple images report stronger results. The more visual your content, the more likely it's likely to improve your inbound marketing efforts. Write in-depth data-driven articles. Instead of writing short posts, you should be doing extensive research and producing in-depth content. According to research by Curita, long-form content generates 8 times more page views, 9 times more leads, and 3 times more social media shares than short-form content. You should be writing articles that are a few thousand words long and supported by lots of data and analysis. This is not only better for your SEO rankings, but it's also more helpful for your customers. The better your content, the more likely your readers are to share it with friends, recommend your site to others, and implement what you say. Use storytelling in your content. Just because you base your content around data and analysis doesn't mean it needs to be dry and academic. You should work to produce the opposite type of content. You want to create articles that tell a story. Using storytelling in your content, from sales pages to social media posts, is a way to create an emotional connection with your audience. Storytelling has another powerful function. It creates brand recall. Research by Stanford University shows people are 63% more likely to remember a story than a statistic. How can you use this tactic in your startup? Look for opportunities to weave in stories when talking about your product or business. Sure, your benefits and features are great, but the emotional connection you create with storytelling will close the sale and help grow your startup through inbound marketing. Make a habit out of guest posting consistently. When you look at the data, you'll find that guest blogging is the best inbound marketing strategy. This is because it provides you with backlinks authority in the space, and relationships with key influencers. But most people go about it the wrong way. If you aren't using smart strategies to spread your startup's message through guest posting, you might as well not do it. If you want to reap the benefits of guest posting, you need to write consistently. This is how the most successful startup owners have made guest blogging work well for them. Instead of a few posts, they wrote prolifically and gained ground quickly. If you do a Google search for a guest post by Dan Yinney, you'll find dozens of pieces of content across the web. This massive, consistent guest posting strategy allowed him to grow his business Marezi into the powerhouse it is today. On his homepage, he displays an in-depth list of all the sites where he has been featured. Dedicate some of your time to creating compelling content for other blogs to reach as many customers as possible. Pitch to blogs with engaged readers. 
Another problem I see with entrepreneurs who want to use guest posting as an inbound marketing strategy is that they don't look for sites that will give them much ROI. The truth is that every guest post requires work, and that's work that needs to give you a distinct benefit in visitors or leads. If you post on a blog that has a dead audience, you won't get any benefit, and you'll have wasted your time. I like to look at the comments on different sites. For example, if I wanted to write a guest blog for WordStream, I can see their posts get lots of relevant comments. This tells me the readers are engaged, and a blog post here might result in readers clicking through to my startup's website and purchasing from me. Maximize your results from SEO with keyword optimization. You need to understand SEO to achieve any success with your startup in today's search-driven marketplace. The most important things to focus on are basic on-page SEO and backlinks for your site and your content. How do you do that? Keyword optimization. You want to find specific long-tail keywords which you'd like to use for targeting your content. Why? Long-tail keywords have a 3-5% to higher click-through rate than generic searches. The more specific someone is in their search, the more likely they know what they want and are close to converting into a customer. Promote your content to build backlinks. Backlinks are perhaps the most important factor in your search engine results. At the simplest level, backlinks are other sites that link to your site. There are lots of ways to increase the number of backlinks you get to your content. By promoting your content to other relevant influencers, you can increase the number of people that link back to you. The exact number of backlinks you need to be successful on the search engines varies depending on the keyword, topic, and the competing sites that are ranking well now. With careful prompting, though, you can easily outrank pages on massive sites with more authority. Not sure where to start with backlinks? I've created a free backlink checker tool you can use to find out who is linking to your startup's competition. Acquire inbound marketing leads with free content. When it's time to convert your visitors into leads, you need bulletproof strategies to get people to give you their email addresses. The best method I've seen is to offer free content in exchange for this contact information. If your startup is in the B2B sector, or if you appeal to customers who want or need in-depth analysis before purchasing, you can make an effective lead magnet from a report. This is a great way to get leads because the comprehensiveness of your work seems like a great deal for an email address. HubSpot's list of marketing statistics includes a pitch for their state of inbound marketing report. This is a detailed guide with massive amounts of high-quality data. But they aren't giving this away for free. To receive the report, you need to provide a detailed amount of information that HubSpot will use to follow up with you on their products. This is an effective way to drive your visitors into your sales funnel and reach them even more effectively. Host a free webinar. One of my favorite inbound marketing techniques for startups is free webinars that encourage customers to learn in real time. This is great because it lets them see your face and understand your personality. Besides, Lots of people will download a guide and never read it. But if someone signs up for a webinar, you can see if they watch the whole thing. I have used this kind of training on my homepage in the past. I didn't call it a webinar, though. I just used the term training. This is a great way to increase your leads as visitors must enter their first name and email address to access the training. Since this is such a valuable teaching piece, People who come to my website are happy to provide their email addresses to learn SEO better. Launch an email course. There's another form of content you can create that will drive new customers. Even better, it won't require the extensive research that a report demands or the complicated back-end software necessary for a webinar. That strategy is to create an email course. This is a simple way to provide extra value without spending tons of time creating something with design elements or video. A great example is the free masterclass Mariah Cuz offers. Because it's a course, it makes the content feel more valuable. If you're currently giving away an ebook for your startup and you've found that it isn't converting well, consider breaking down the content into sections. Then use each section as a separate email. You may find that an email course or a masterclass converts even better than an ebook.
Start an influencer marketing campaign. According to a survey by Influencer Marketing Hub, 75% of brands have a dedicated budget for influencer marketing, and 90% of respondents believe it's an effective form of advertising. If you do this the right way, it can be a free or paid method to get people excited about your brand. If you're going to launch an influencer marketing campaign, you need to understand what will make it work best. First and most importantly, you need to make sure you're appealing to the right influencers. This is easy to get wrong, as the people you think you're appealing to may not be persuasive to your target audience. The earlier research you did on your audience should be a great starting place to understand who they pay attention to, but you might need to do even more work than that. How do you find the right influencers for your startup? You can Google phrases like top, niche, influencers. Browse hashtags on Instagram related to your niche. Use influencer platforms to connect with creators. Search key phrases on Uber suggest to find blogs that appeal to your target audience. Build relationships with influencers. Once you know which influencers are best for your brand, you need to start targeting them specifically. While you can just run into promotion and start spamming them with requests to share the content you created, this won't be very effective. You'll irritate them and ruin the relationship. Instead, you need to start slow and gradually build a relationship with the influencers you'd like to promote your content. One of the best ways to reach influencers is through targeted communication on social media. You can let them know when they inspired you to write. You should also do everything you can to help those influencers by providing communication that's always focused on their needs. While it may seem frustrating to always focus on them, you'll eventually start to build a relationship that allows you to make a small request. If you've built great relationships from the start, they'll be happy to oblige. Build effective email campaigns. You already know that email marketing is critical to a successful inbound marketing campaign for your startup. But are you using it effectively? Email marketing has a massive ROI. According to Litmus, the average ROI was $42 for every $1 spent on emails. But to make it work, you need to be strategic with how you promote your brand through email. Send helpful content to subscribers. First and foremost, you need to be useful to your subscribers. When someone signs up, you need to provide them with a reason to stay on your email list. If you're constantly spamming them or sending worthless content, They'll unsubscribe and probably never return. Instead, send emails with valuable information they can't get anywhere else. BuzzSumo does a great job with this in their articles and emails. Their weekly update includes a report on engagement on Facebook, based on 880 million posts. More importantly, I want to stay subscribed to the newsletter, and I'll keep looking forward to their emails. This is the kind of reaction you need to build with your subscribers. If they're looking forward to your marketing, you're doing it correctly. Stick with email marketing for the long term. You need to be in the email game for the long term. If you're not consistently providing great content with your inbound marketing, you're going to be frustrated. Instead of pitching your product immediately after someone signs up on your email list, Send them a welcome sequence that gradually introduces them to what you have to offer. According to Invesp, the average cost of a lead drops 80% after 5 months of consistent inbound marketing. If you want to save massive dollars on your marketing strategies, you need to get ready to work for a while on each prospect. Be patient, and you'll be thankful for the results. Make your website convert like crazy by making it mobile friendly. Ultimately. The goal of much of your inbound marketing strategy is to drive people to your startup's website. If you're not converting people once they arrive, however, what's the point? Conversion is the key to successful inbound marketing since it's the transition from visitor to prospect. You need to make sure your website is ready to convert your traffic into leads and customers. It's the only way to make your startup grow with the traffic you've worked so hard to acquire. The first and most important way to ensure you're getting the conversions you deserve is by making your website mobile accessible. If your startup's site isn't responsive, you're going to struggle to convert the traffic you've worked so hard to drive there.
In short, the vast majority of websites aren't appealing to mobile users, and they aren't putting in the work they need to make these changes. Instead of actually converting their mobile customers, they're losing out on valuable traffic. Don't let that happen to you. Make sure your site is responsive and that it works well on mobile. Install Hello Bar. If you want to get more conversions from the traffic you're sending to your site, you should consider installing Hello Bar. This is a simple tool that allows you to add a sign-up form at the top of your website. Since it's unobtrusive, it won't distract from the user experience. But since it's always at the top of your pages, it will drive massive conversions. It's a great way to get a few new leads each day. Drive conversions with content upgrades. If you want to skyrocket the conversions you're getting from the content you publish on your website, look no further than a content upgrade. Unlike a traditional lead magnet, a content upgrade will optimize your highest converting pieces of content. A great example is the 700 plus power word cheat sheet used in the article on the topic over at Optin Monster. Because the people reading this article are interested in finding out more about the words that can make their writing more effective, this is a great way to encourage them to sign up. You can do the same thing. To make this work, find a popular article and create a custom bonus that adds to the piece of content you've already written. Link this in the article and watch the new leads for your startup skyrocket. Test and refine your inbound marketing strategies. It's no secret that I think testing is the only way to improve all kinds of marketing. This applies to the inbound marketing strategies you're using for your startup as well. You need to monitor your results and make gradual improvements to different components of your campaign. If they don't work as expected, you should refine those strategies and try something new. But even if they do work for you, I recommend going back and making improvements. Keeping an A-B split test running at all times is a great way to make small but consistent changes to your marketing strategy and to make sure everything is working at its best. Inbound marketing tools. Inbound marketing strategies can be pretty effective, but they can be challenging to figure out initially. To help you make the transition from outbound to inbound marketing smoother. I have compiled a few inbound marketing tools to help you strengthen your marketing plan. These tools can be helpful, but at the end of the day, they're just tools. It's you as a marketer who can use them effectively for the best results. Having a deeper understanding of how inbound marketing works can help you strengthen your marketing plan for better reach. Jotform Jotform is a free form builder with attractive templates and a ton of desirable features. It's easy to set up. Forms can be designed and edited in minutes, and the results can embed in most content management systems in a click. Tools like Jotform can help you design beautiful forms for newsletter signups, ebook downloads, service subscriptions, and other inbound marketing practices. MailChimp While tools like Jotform can help you secure signups, you need efficient email marketing and distribution for operating a lead generating newsletter. That's where MailChimp comes in. MailChimp offers free and paid email distribution features. You can customize how your email looks, when it's sent, what it includes, and more. MailChimp also lets you create personalized email campaigns unique to each set of subscribers. Customizable features like these can help you create effective email campaigns to generate, capture, and nurture leads. Buffer Social media management is a crucial aspect of inbound marketing. Tools like Buffer can help you improve the effectiveness of your social media marketing plan. Buffer lets you schedule social media posts to publish content when your target demographic is most active. As a result, no one has to stay awake at odd hours to post content at strategic times. This tool also automates most of the social media management, so you save time and money. So if you're a startup with a tight budget, this can help give you a leg up. An inbound marketing strategy attracts prospects to your brand by creating valuable content that is relevant and helpful. The five principles of inbound marketing are standardize, contextualize, optimize, personalize, and empathize. Videos, blogs, pillar pages, ebooks, social media, press releases, infographics, newsletters, Research papers, podcasts, 
webinars, and expert interviews. You need to know the purpose of your content, your target audience, and how your content fits in with the buyer's journey. Inbound marketing is the most effective way to increase visitors, leads, and buyers. To attract customers, you need to understand their needs, aspirations, and struggles. Using that data, create great content that draws them in like a magnet. You'll need to include SEO best practices so that customers can find you through search engines. Once you have the traffic, convert those visitors with free content and influencer marketing that drives leads. With a compelling email campaign and a high converting website, you can grow your business like never before. Which inbound marketing strategies will you use to grow your business? The stages of inbound marketing. Understanding the stages of inbound marketing can help you improve your website copy and attract the right customers faster. The four stages are, attract, convert, delight, and engage. Attract. The first stage of inbound marketing is attract. This stage is all about finding and attracting your target audience. Ask yourself, how do you help people find your website? Do you add a lot of relevant keywords in your blog posts? Do you use targeted hashtags? Answering these questions and adapting accordingly can help you rank higher in Google search and be more visible in your desired audience's social media feed. Convert. When we talk about marketing, we often think about converting users. After all, the end goal of marketing is to find new users and convert them. How can you use inbound marketing to convert users? Sign up forms, effective calls to action, CTAs, incentivizing signing up for your newsletter. For example, look at this section of Nike's homepage. It reminds visitors of a challenge they're hosting and gives them the options to start a run or a workout using buttons at the bottom. This CTA may prompt a casual viewer to sign up and become a part of Nike's community. Close. In some cases, converting a user isn't as straightforward as offering a sign-up form and hoping they join your community. One of the many ways you can enter the closing stage is by using automation. For example, automated emails that remind users of their abandoned cards can prompt a busy customer to return to your site and complete their purchase. It works, too. 45% of abandoned card emails are open, and 50% of the links within are clicked. Such findings show how the close stage of the inbound marketing strategy can be equally if not more important. Delight. The last stage of the inbound marketing strategy is the delight phase, wherein you reward customers for buying from you. It could include actions like sending a thank you message, personalized follow-up emails, offering discounts, and more. If you choose to include surveys and feedback forms at this stage, you can also receive helpful comments and gain insight into potential problems to fix early on. Inbound marketing is a strategic approach to creating valuable content that aligns with the needs of your target audiences and inspires long-term customer relationships. Your customers are your customers because you provide solutions to their problems. That's what inbound marketing is all about, providing the solutions that your target audiences are searching for. Those solutions can come in the form of many different types of content across all your different platforms, designed to connect with potential buyers at different stages of the buying cycle. These are some of the most common types of inbound marketing content, but even within these types, compelling content can come in many different shapes, sizes, and styles. Inbound marketing is about being creative to serve the needs of your audience. Foliage Blog Posts ebooks and white papers, infographics, videos, webinars, news articles, research, social media, slideshare. These are some of the most common types of inbound marketing content, but even within these types, compelling content can come in many different shapes, sizes, and styles. Inbound marketing is about being creative to serve the needs of your audience. Inbound marketing works because it's entirely based on what customers want and what they're looking for in the moment. It's not about putting your brand in front of customers, it's about being there, and being ready, when they're looking for the things you offer. Successful inbound marketing happens when you're producing high-quality content that your intended audience really engages with.
It's important to keep in mind that inbound marketing doesn't usually work as effectively as it could when it's the only marketing tactic you use. The key to a great inbound marketing strategy is to create excellent content that can also be promoted through outbound tactics. Then, you'll have a library of engaging and relevant content across all your platforms, therefore your audience finds it through search, but it's also available for you to promote if you need to. Inbound marketing is a great way to inspire customer engagement that leads to buyer journeys and recurring customer relationships. For example, when you create an ebook that your website visitors love, they'll be more likely to submit their information and become leads. It's also easy to integrate inbound marketing tactics with marketing automation to transport new leads and customers through the purchase pipeline. The real, ideal result of inbound marketing is brand awareness and an engaged audience. Great inbound marketing content serves to create genuine interest in your brand by the people you want to become your customers. It helps people get to know your products and services and provides helpful answers to their questions. It's not just about sales. The engaged audience that you create with inbound marketing won't be composed solely of picture-perfect, qualified leads. In fact, inbound marketing rarely translates directly to sales. Instead, it translates directly to your brand's reputation and what your audience thinks of you which is sometimes even more complex to manage than the sales process. It's about helping people. Your inbound marketing content has the potential to help a lot of people with their problems, generate repeat traffic to your website, and spark word-of-mouth promotion for your brand. If you're doing inbound right, it will also deliver a steadily growing collection of qualified leads to engage further with personalized content that will result in sales conversion and recurring customer relationships. Use inbound marketing to make meaningful marketing moments happen. Who uses inbound marketing? Inbound marketing is for everyone who wants to build deeper, more engaged relationships with their customers. If you're aware of common questions that your target audience frequently asks, inbound marketing content is the best way to answer them. Everyone who can use inbound, should. Before developing an inbound marketing strategy, it's important to recognize that inbound marketing requires you to host and update a living library of informative and interesting content. This can be done on a large or small scale, but either way, you must have the ability to devote time and resources to support your inbound marketing content and make it the best it can be for your audience. It's especially great for small businesses. Inbound marketing is fairly inexpensive, and because it creates a living library of branded content, it has great ROI. Small businesses with small budgets can use this to their advantage. With a little effort, small businesses can make a big impact with inbound marketing content that answers questions and solves problems for your key customer groups. Why use inbound marketing? The people you want as your customers are out there right now with questions. They're wondering how they can improve their businesses. They're thinking of buying new things. Sooner or later, they're going to start looking for answers, and your inbound marketing content could be just the resource they need. It's empowering for your customers. That's why you should use inbound marketing. Whether you're a small business or a large enterprise, you can be a thought leader in your field. Inbound marketing helps build that perception among your target audience, day by day and click by click. It's the most natural and customer-centric way for people to find and learn about your brand. It can perfectly complement your existing outbound marketing strategy, allowing you to segment your audiences, and it integrates seamlessly with marketing automation. Marketing automation is a software platform that helps you automate your marketing and sales engagement to generate more leads, close more deals, and accurately measure marketing success. While inbound marketing is a great strategy for creating brand awareness, it doesn't result in sales or move prospects along the buying journey all by itself. Marketing automation bridges the gap between real conversion and the engaged audience that inbound marketing creates. For example, with marketing automation, you can keep your sales team in the loop about all of your leads, allowing them to respond quickly when a lead created through inbound marketing shows signs of being ready to close on a sale. How to use inbound marketing with account based marketing. Inbound marketing and account-based marketing, ABM, 
are both founded on the principle of creating better, more personalized experiences for customers. Inbound marketing efforts can supplement your ABM strategy by providing additional content and engagement opportunities for your target accounts. What exactly is ABM? Account-based marketing is a B2B marketing strategy that focuses on specific customers or accounts and targets each as a market of one with highly personalized, one-to-one -one experiences and content. Here's how to combine inbound marketing with ABM. Repurpose content. Repurposing content across your ABM and inbound marketing efforts extends its usefulness. Learn from your data. Learning what works, and what doesn't from your inbound marketing initiatives can lead to insights that boost your ABM efforts. Identify new target accounts. Inbound marketing has the potential to bring in new leads that you can identify as targets for ABM. Inbound marketing strategy. A great inbound marketing strategy starts with everything you know about the people you want as your customers. Who are they? What are they searching for? What do you offer them? Ultimately, the best inbound marketing strategy will be about answering questions and being helpful to your target audience, allowing you to build long-term customer relationships. However, to answer those questions, you'll first need to make sure you've accounted for the following. Content and SEO Successful inbound marketing depends on great SEO-optimized content. SEO, search engine optimization, is what helps audiences find your content in the first place but nobody's going to stick around if that content is subpar. Great writers, designers, and web developers, as well as an SEO visibility tool, can help you create engaging inbound marketing content that connects with your audience and keeps them coming back for more tools and technology. Marketing automation can help ease the headaches of managing the complex, multi-channel campaigns required by inbound marketing. A robust marketing automation platform can also help you keep up with the demands of generating content and managing campaigns. Data analytics powered by marketing automation can give you invaluable insights about how your audience is engaging with your content, allowing you to adapt your strategy in real time. Marketing and Sales Alignment Inbound marketing is all about building customer relationships. Talk to your sales team about what helps them connect with customers. This will give you information about what content will help you engage your marketing audiences and lead them on a buying journey with your sales team. Channels and Platforms The stronger your web and social media presence, the better your inbound marketing content will do. Your website is the face of your brand, it's the first place most people are introduced to your products and services. Test your CTAs, experiment with your content placement, and make things interactive. When it comes to social media, focus on the platforms you know your target audience uses to engage with content like yours. Integrating with Outbound Be sure to integrate your inbound marketing strategy with traditional outbound marketing tactics whenever needed. This can help you clearly segment your audience, from prospects and existing clients to specific industries and job titles. Inbound Marketing for Small Business You can do great inbound marketing on any budget. In fact, inbound is easier to do on a small budget than many other kinds of marketing. It's relatively inexpensive, and results in a living library of evergreen content that you can continue to promote for years through outbound methods. Small businesses also tend to have closer relationships with their customers, which means your team can easily identify the types of content that will resonate best with new audiences. How Marketing Cloud Account Engagement Can Help Marketing cloud account engagement helps marketers and sales teams find and nurture leads, close more deals, maximize ROI, and more. Here's why we're the right choice to help power your inbound marketing strategy. Inbound marketing. Content generation and insights built on Salesforce, the world's number one CRM. Time to value. You can implement marketing cloud account engagement quickly to start generating more leads and revenue faster. Marketing Analytics Use B2B marketing analytics to organize and analyze all of your data across sales and marketing to make data-driven decisions. Sales Activation Automate sales processes and build marketing-approved campaigns so sales teams can focus on closing more deals. 
Thank you for watching the video and subscribe the channel.